What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Halloween ends in this video here again today, talking about the potential runtime that I've seen floating around online a bit more. Uh, stuff like this, I would say again, is not confirmed until we hear it from the studio or if you start to see it like showing up on a lot of your theater apps like AMC and Regal, uh, I guess you can say it's confirmed at that point. For instance, if you're someone who watches my Jeepers Creepers videos, most of the run times up at these theaters from what I can see is an hour and 35 minutes. I guess this is the source of where this run time for Halloween ends is coming to. I haven't seen it up on any theater of mine nearby, but I guess some chains out in Canada from what I was told from people when they were saying where they found it at, they found it at some chains in Canada having this run time up where Halloween ends looks like it's gonna be an hour and 52 minutes. That could mean this is the longest entry in the Halloween saga so far if this is actually true now i'm not too shocked because i was hearing coming out of the test screenings from people who were in attendance that the movie was nearly two hours so this sounds right around what i was being told uh and of course a lot of that would be factoring in some credits not saying that the credits are going to be like overly long or 10 minutes worth or anything like that the credits might be taking up six min minutes of that runtime so with a runtime like that they have a lot they can accomplish there. They can hopefully give us a give us a way to grow attached and invested in this narrative with Corey Cunningham because I know a lot of people are already turned off by it. They can uh, hopefully make him a very compelling character. Hopefully what Rohan Campbell was able to do is at least give us a good performance that will make us become invested in the storyline, even if we're not necessarily in agreement with the direction this movie has taken. I've already seen people say that more and more we find out, the more and more it seems like this time jump was a big mistake, like how many people were thinking it was when they first heard that a time jump was going to happen. Because ultimately... I'm I'm in the same boat. What, why did we need this storyline? I mean, honestly, the commentary they could be going for is just again how how uh, a town's obsession with uh, past trauma can ultimately be their undoing. That's what it seems like they're they're going with here. Only because considering the details we know about Corey Cunningham and making assumptions about where the story is going to go, if he's standing accused of killing a boy and he ends up being viewed as the next Michael Myers in Haddonfield and these people won't let him live, their constant state of fear and wanting to paint someone else as the thing they fear the most is ultimately what ends up bringing the thing they fear the most back when they should have just laid off and let bygones be bygones and leave the boy alone. When it again, according to the synopsis, it seems like this is going to be an accident. He's standing accused of killing a boy, so most likely, whatever happens, it wasn't on purpose on Corey's end, but he ends up being painted as this big, bad, evil next Michael Myers type, becomes a copycat, and then the town of Haddonfield will ultimately suffer when Michael returns because of whatever Corey does that brings him back to the town. So, within a runtime like an hour and 52 minutes. Hopefully we'll get to see some unique things go down where we can give a substantial bit of time to Lori's purpose to the narrative, Allison's purpose to the narrative, and of course, see what Corey Cunningham has to do with all of this at the center of it all. And if he's someone you will grow attached to, someone you will come out saying, yeah, they were they were right to give us a narrative like this. Or if it's something where you're like, no, this, this wasn't it. <laughs> because the other thing I'm thinking about here is will we see dr loomis again in this movie or in this series we saw dr loomis in halloween kills and they brought him back in a effective way uh with tremendous prosthetics i believe was done that was used the most part when, with what we saw in those flashbacks for halloween kills flashbacks and halloween kills still i will say some of the best things i've seen in this series some of the best f attempts at flashbacks to date in the halloween series i don't think we've ever actually had any flashbacks outside of that to the 19 set to the year of 1978 other other than what we saw in halloween because i might be wrong but i want to see dr loomis again in some capacity i want to see dr loomis factor into this narrative i don't want to just hear him mentioned in dialogue we've had him mentioned in dialogue in the 2018 movie where laura's like you're the new loomis and then we actually got to see him again on screen in halloween kills with the flashback sequences so if they can do something like that again in halloween ends that would be nice but or again, like I've been talking about in other videos, that it, what they could do, depending on how this movie ends, you can still do that thing that Dave McRae has suggested, which I still think is a phenomenal way to end the series. 
even if we actually see Michael Myers die, you can you can plant that seed of doubt in certain viewers by having Michael Myers, not Michael Myers, by having Donald Pleasance's voice or somebody who can sound just like him speak from beyond the grave. Someone who's been looking over all of this going on and they and they can say, oh, you you think you you fooled them, Michael, or something like that, but not me. And then the screen cuts to black. Something like that would be a nice way to bring Dr. Loomis back. We don't have to necessarily see him on screen, but I would love to see them do what they did in those flashbacks with recreating Donald Pleasant's presence uh, by doing that again in Halloween Ends, because that was amazing with what they did in Halloween Kills. Uh, I would just love to hear some thoughts on that in the comment section from you guys, if you would like to see them do that again in Halloween Ends, or if they were to somehow, you know, take a weird route like maybe michael myers we spend time with him in the sewer and he has a thought of donald pleasance's dr loomis and they can do something that reflects him thinking about him in the sewers you know they're already doing this weird angle with Corey cunningham so i mean give us give us something else that might be enjoyably weird <laughs> maybe michael has some type of memory of dr dr loomis and we see something like that go on in his mind where they had a session while he was at smith's grove uh i just really want to see dr loomis again if it's supposed to be the end of this timeline i think that he should be present in some capacity or maybe Corey cunningham for whatever reason ends up bringing up dr loomis i don't know why he would bring him up but i hope dr loomis is mentioned in this movie but an hour and 52 minutes runtime is enough to accomplish a effective narrative as far as like giving us a reason to grow invested in Corey, grow invested in whatever other narrative you're trying to spin here with him being the target of the town and being an innocent in all of this outside of the fact that he accidentally killed somebody but the town won't let him forget that which ultimately leads to michael myers returning which again from what we can see if he actually is going around wearing this man's mask michael returns for his mask what else would he be returning for <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video